Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This video is brought to you by GameOne.com and the game choice is obviously Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of, the Wrath of Cortex for the Nintendo GameCube and PlayStation 2 as well, but I'm playing the GameCube version. So let's start a new game. Um, now I think there's something if you put in Wombat. So let's see if that's true. Um, how do I... How do I do this? Okay, I guess you just do that. I haven't gotten 100% on this game before because I've never played it that much. I've beaten the game though, so I know that, but... Not Wombat. Jeez, I can't believe I spelled Wombat wrong. So let's uh, just do this. Let's see. I think we got something for doing that. Ah, uh, and introducing low times. Imbeciles, fools, nincompoops. Can't you idiots do anything right? According to this, your track record for spreading evil is pathetic. Uka Uka, it's not our fault that Richard Pandicoot is to blame. I will not let anything stand in the way of evil. Especially not a brainless orange for stupid. Crash must be eliminated. Uh, Uka Uka, need I remind you that Crash always finds a way to defeat us? Maybe he's just too good for us. Enough excuses! You five idiots need to come up with one good plan, or else... How do I get into these situations? Ugh. There must be something we can come up with. Say, Doctor, haven't you been tinkering with some kind of new secret weapon in your laboratory? I don't know what you're talking about, Entropy. Dr. Cortex! I think he's referring to this super secret weapon you've been laboring over day and night since the last time Crash defeated you. Enough bickering! Do we have a plan? Well, in my scientific endeavors, I've been able to create a genetically advanced super weapon of unbelievable strength. But the power source is the final missing. Elementals, that's it! If released, their destructive energy could create enough power to bring my secret weapon to life. We have a weapon capable of crushing mountains, demolishing entire cities, and wiping Crash Bandicoot off the face of the Earth forever! Get ready to face my wrath, Crash Bandicoot! <laughs> Okay, he's kind of insane, but he always is, so it's nothing new. Okay, low times, go faster. One all right. It appears that my evil twin brother Uka Uka is up to his no good tricks again. I must find out what he is planning. I'll meet up with you later. Uh, hello, my feeble brother. You have gotten my attention, Uka Uka. What kind of diabolical scheme do you and Dr. Cortex have planned this time? No schemes. Just some old familiar faces dropping by for a visit. <laughs> no, not the elementals. Uka Uka, why did you release them? Don't you know what happened the last time they were free? So they were responsible for a few earthquakes, floods, and that little ice age a couple of centuries back. You worry too much, brother. 
cannot restrain them, Puka Huka. They are far too dangerous. This could spell disaster for us all. <laughs> On the contrary, Aku Aku. It spells disaster for you and that precious planet you care so much about. Destroy him! <laughs> You won't get away with this. <laughs> Who's going to stop us? Crash, Coco. It is just as I feared. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex have freed a group of destructive masks known as the Elementals. We must find a way to stop them before they destroy the Earth and all of its inhabitants. The only way to stop the Elemental's destructive nature is to imprison them with the use of ancient crystals. Each Elemental can be returned back to their hibernation state with a total of five crystals. We must act quickly. Coco, what is the status of the new portal chamber you've been working on? It's almost finished. A few little adjustments here and there, and it'll be ready to go. Well done, Coco. This gives us the ideal opportunity to test it. We must hurry. Okay, this is going to be one really long intro. We've already been recording seven minutes, and we haven't even gotten to play yet. But it does seem like a pretty good story, and holy cow, I just dropped my controller. And oh, hey, it looks like we're able to play now, and this actually looks... If you think of it, it looks pretty bad compared to... Uh, wait, you already get tornado spin? Did we get double jump? Double jump and tornado spin. Do we have the bazooka? No. Uh, can we still slide jump? Yeah! So let's check out what levels we have. Um... Can I please check what levels I have? Um... No? I'd like to please see what levels I have? Um... Game? Uh... Can I please go to a level? Rumble in the rocks. Okay, there we go. Wait. Didn't we st Oh! Okay, I get it. The wombat thing... Uh... Kinda made us instantly beat the game. So we don't want that. Uh, let's see here. Let's... Let me just exit. And start a new game without using the cheats. Because we don't want to go through all that again. And we'll just use Crash. Hopefully I can skip over the video, otherwise... I'll... Okay, good. We don't have to watch it all again. So yeah, if you guys want to beat the game instantly and have every level unlocked with all the gems and the crystals... Then just type in Crash Bandicoot, my old nemesis. How the heck are you? Still gathering crystals? Old habits die hard, don't they? My days are being spent on something much more intriguing. Meet Crunch, my newest creation. This is the creature who keeps sabotaging your master plan? Ha! <laughs> you gotta be kidding. I'll exterminate this field rat in no time. Now, Crunch, your time with Crash will come soon enough. Isn't he brilliant? A testament to my true scientific genius. A real bandicoot warrior. Unlike you, Crash. Oh well, we all make mistakes. Ta-ta for now. 
Okay, yeah, so we were actually supposed to see that happen, but unlike we did. Yeah, see, so we shouldn't be able to go into the next level, see? Nope. And, yeah, we don't have Tornado Spin, and we don't have Double Jump anymore. So, the levels we have are Arctic Antics, Tornado Alley, Bamboozled, Wizards and Lizards, and Compactor Reactor. So, let's start off things with, obviously, level 1, Arctic Antics. With two gems, a crystal, and a relic. I won't begin the relics till later. I'm Rocco, the Earth Elemental. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex woke me from my captive slumber, and now I'm free to pulverize whatever gets in my way. Oh, don't even think about collecting those crystals, bro. Because if you do, I'm gonna bury you alive. Okay, Mr. Psycho Mask. Uh, I think we need to kill you. You're not a very nice guy. And yeah, so, um, 10 minutes of intro. That's always fun. Extreme loading time, and wow, boxes look funny on here. There's 147 boxes in a, in the first crash level. That's a lot compared to uh, the other games back, uh, back in PlayStation 1 days. And the enemies are so slow moving. Man, I haven't played this game since... I don't know, it was like five years ago when I last played it. Jump on TNT. Uh, you have three seconds to get away from it before it explodes and... I ran into a seal, that's that's always good. I'm already down to three lives. I uh, get a hundred wampa fruit and you get a life. Uh, I don't think this game has the uh, bazooka, so you won't get to see that. I'll have to play the other Crash Bandicoot series, but no one's voting for it yet. So I don't want to do, do it yet, and to wait for this to get to the mask, we get Aku Aku as an extra hit. Kill this penguin while he's not spinning, because you don't want to take any damage. No being foolish. So yeah, this is to replace Ration Clank since I'm finished my Ration Clank into the next walkthrough. And I thought, what's better than an awesome game series known as Crash Bandicoot? Uh, this brings back a lot of nostalgia for me. As a kid, I grew up playing Crash Bandicoot, uh, Spyro, Super Mario, stuff like that. So I, I, I'd like to play the games that I grew up playing. I can't play Donkey Kong because it's not um, a high enough definition game. It's extremely low, it's lower than 720, so I can't record it on my HD PBR. And don't get hit by the whale. Ooh, that was close. So let's break these. The ones with the uh, squares on, uh, X's on them there, you have to break by pounding, which is jumping and then pressing the X button. And Aku Aku, every time you collect one, will give you another hit. And then once you have um, three, you'll get invincibility for a short time, then go back to having two hits. And I think Y, yeah, Y brings up your menu, or like your uh, screen, so you can see how many things you've collected in the level. I don't want to make this first video too long, just because uh, the final part that I'm probably going to be uploading for Ratchet Clank tonight is like 32 minutes, and that will be a really long... And I pressed A, but it pressed X. That was very misleading. I hope it doesn't do that again. I'm using a really bad GameCube controller, though, that I got with my GameCube. I can't find my good controller right now. So sometimes my buttons will press themselves automatically, or not press the right one when doing a certain button con uh, command. And it's not because I'm, you know, doing it on purpose. It's just because I have bad controller. I might actually show you guys why it's bad, because it has extreme fraying in a certain part. And because of that, it's not a very good uh, controller. Uh, let's see, does this give me an Aku Aku? Good, it does. And my computer's trying to fall asleep for a while recording, I don't want that to happen. And I got my life back, and wow, we're at that many. Okay, see, so yeah, we need the green gem over there. I don't think we have... Uh, can get the green gem yet. I think it's probably in one of the other worlds. Uh, so I actually beat Nufi Bong into doing the Rash and Clank game. Okay, now these... I mean, uh, Crash Bandicoot game, not Rash and Clank. He's just doing Rash and Clank now. Or going to, the, uh, for the new year. Now, for this... These bonuses are usually side-scrolling, sometimes very difficult, and you get boxes that you normally wouldn't get in the rest of the level. 
And remember, if you collect all the boxes, you get a, a gem, which is usually gray. And what it does is it unlocks stuff after the game. Now we'll let those blow up, so then we can get this... Okay, it's a life box. Basic boxes always drop a lot of fruit. Oh, there's a box behind there. Question mark ones can drop quite a few different things. It's usually womp fruit, like the basic boxes. You know, nothing too special. And looks like it'd be that. You can actually jump off the end of that, so be careful. So we got a life. Uh, we might get another life here. Maybe. No, we're seven womp fruit away. Now you can get a life for jumping on that mammoth. But personally, I don't think it's worth it. Now that is extremely risky to get. Because you can slide. Yeah, and if you spin a Wamper Fruit, you send it flying. But we don't need it. And these you need to collect to beat the uh, level. And we're missing 147 bot. Uh, not 147. Oh, the cow. I thought I was going to miss that. Spin right to get that. Now, hopefully, the rest were Nitro. Oh, yeah, we got them all. Nice. And we got the gem. So let's head out. That was a great first run, other than the two stupid deaths. One because of my own stupidity, and one because for some reason uh, it didn't work when I, you know, jumped and it found it. So yeah, so I think I'll end the video here. Sorry for only getting one level done. Um, reason is, like I said, because the intro is extremely long, and it turned it. Out, it turned out that we the cheats on I didn't want to do that so stay tuned for more Crash Bandicoot Wrath